John 3. I'll give everybody a minute to get there. Um, I got the word the Lord kept bringing up. Birthing and gifts. And it came to me, he's like, not every, every gift has a pretty bow on it and it looks all clean and special. And then he brought up the birthing. You take a child, for instance, a woman births a child. Messy. It's beautiful, but it's messy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I went through it four times, so. Yeah. <laughs> um, but they are the best <laughs> gift the Lord can ever give yeah. you. Yeah. After the mess, the nurses, they'll get the child and they'll clean the child up. They'll wipe the blood, all, all that stuff off. I'll, I'll not get too graphic with it. <laughs> and that's kind of the way the Lord does us after our rebirth. Yeah. We go down with all this nasty all over us, yeah. and then we come back up. And what's the first thing if you went through the water baptism? The first thing somebody hands you the towel. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. You, you wipe all that off, and you dry all that off. And that's what led me to John 3. Yeah. Amen. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God, but no man can do these miracles that thou, that thou doest except God be with thee. Yeah. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Nicodemus said unto him, how can a man be born when he is old? He entered a second time in his mother's womb and be born. Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven, into the kingdom of God. That which was born of flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not, I say unto thee, you must be born again. And I've talked to people that they don't believe in this, and I try to I try to help them with it because I don't want to pressure nobody into anything. That the importance Listen. of the water baptism, the water itself does nothing, but it symbolizes the death, the death of your flesh, the death of everything you went through when you come up. Amen. You're being born, born yes. again into this world, and you got to, you got to turn yourself over to Jesus. Not just, not just the outside, but the inside too. You got to cleanse yourself from top to bottom, and you got to let the Lord do the work. Because if you try to do it, you'll get nowhere. Amen. And then that part led me to Matthew 23, 25. Because I've seen people, they'll be, they'll look the part, they'll dress the part, they'll know the part, but the heart is not in the part. Amen. I voted for a man to come through the doors, plumb outside, dirty, filthy, and have the purest heart. I better have that man touch me as a man up here in a suit that Amen. knows word for word everything. He knows it, but he don't live it. He just knows what the word says, and as far as it goes, what it says, it don't go into his heart, it don't go into his spirit. Amen. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you make clean the outside of the cup and of the platter, but within they are full of extortions and excess. Yeah, I can't say that word. <laughs> yeah. Thou blind Pharisees, Clean us first that which is within the cup and the platter, that he that the inside of them must be clean also. Amen. Yeah. We clean up the outside, but if the heart is not pure, the heart is not of God, none of it matters. Amen. Come on, guys. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are like unto what circumcision. Sir Serpent curse, yeah. which indeed appear beautiful outwards, but are 
within full of dead man's bones and of all uncleanliness. Even so ye also outward appear righteous unto man, but within ye are full of hypocrisy and iniquities. But like I said, you can clean the outside, but it don't do anything for the inside. Amen. Would you drink of a, like a, if you drink of a cup that's clean on the outside, but the inside has never been washed, you're going to get, you're going to get sick, you're going to get ill. And there was a man who told me once, watch who lays hands on you. Because what's on them can rub off on you. Yeah. Basically, if you're drinking from that dirty cup that looks clean on the outside, come but on. you drink what's on the inside of it, what's on the inside of that cup can come on the inside of you. Yeah. So you got to watch who touches you. I don't care if they're clean, they're dressed up, they look good on the outside, but if they come up they lay hands on you and they're dirty, filthy, nasty on the inside, yeah. that, that could portray onto you. Yeah. So you got to watch who touches you. you got to watch who prays over you. That's like if you was to eat off a dirty plate, the same thing. You could get sick. And the Lord, he looks at the heart. People don't look at the heart. They look on the outside. And it tells us that in uh, 1 Samuel 16, 7. I'm not reading it, but that's where, where, it's, where it's at. And that's why it pays to cover everything with the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus, he cleanses the cleanses the heart and the body. That's like when I leave for work, my prayer when I'm going down the road, I plead the blood of Jesus over me, my wife, my kids individually. I say my wife Kelly, my daughter Skylar, the leader of River and Legacy, my home, my vehicles, all of it. Because the things that's left uncovered, the enemy can come in and he can he can wiggle his way into places. Amen. Like if you drink from that dirty cup. If you've got an open door and you drink from that man's dirty cup, what's in his dirty cup can come through that open door into your cup. Right. Yeah. And some of the open doors that people don't know about is like unforgiveness, yeah. Yeah. bitterness, hatred towards people, yeah. yes. lying, stealing, yes. the simple things that we just brush under the, under the rug yeah. can be leeway for the enemy to get in. Amen. And I'm not going to lie, as far as my household, I, I, I'm not doing right. I'm not in sin or nothing, but I'm not stepping myself up to where I need to be. And I, Bless him, Lord. Yeah. And I, yeah. my wife calls me out on it, and I thank her for it, even though sometimes she knows. Now he's calling me out. Yeah, so everybody give my wife a hand for helping me to count up. <laughs> And I'm going to this night, as uh, she can tell on me, y'all can hold me accountable. I'm, I'm stepping up. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do in my house. Because yes, the Lord's calling me to this house. i got to get my house in order. Amen. And I'm not going to leave my family to come to y'all. I'm sorry. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm going, my heart's clean. Uh, the outside, the Lord's working on that. And I just want y'all to remember me in prayer. Blessing. I'm not, I'm not a long speaker. I'm not long-winded. But that's what the Lord's given me. Yes. And yes. I'm going to end it there. And I thank y'all for believing in me. I thank y'all for being part of my family. Yes. Yes. And I'd like to pray over the house again for we end. Heavenly Father, I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one in this house, Lord. Yes, I ask that your, your angels, they rise with them as they go home, that they minister to them on their travels when they get home, Lord. I ask that your Holy Spirit blankets over their home from one side to the other, from end to end, from corner to corner, Lord. That your Holy Spirit makes a fiery wave to drive out any kind of impurity. Yes. Any kind of demonic entities that try to hide in the darkness, Lord, I ask that it lights up every corner in Jesus' name. And I ask you, Lord, 
that all those of us that have lost family, Lord, that we just be a light in the darkness for them, that what we carry draws them in, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. 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 Good job. That was good. Bubba, you played something before Casey leaves? Amen. How many knows everything he said in Scripture? Come on. Amen. The one thing that they teach you, and I want you guys to hear me, uh, because I, I would never dishonor anybody unless it was anti-Bible, and then we'd have to correct. Another song, bud. Uh, <laughs> we have to correct. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, but you never come behind a minister and, and minister over what he just did. Amen. Never. Because if God's appointed a person to speak that night and it's what God gives who are we to overstep what God said Amen. Amen. we want to offer something else and, and just take a step farther than what he's saying is you don't have to stay dirty Amen. 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 you don't have to stay dirty uh, Amen. God will clean you from the outside or from the inside out and then you get so clean on the inside the outside start looking good Amen. Amen. but I believe that God offers uh his blood to clean every single one of us up. Yes. Every little crevice, every little crack, every little every little spot that, that is hid from man's eyes. But God does see the intent of a man's heart. Amen. So we want to offer uh, at this time if there's anybody that needs prayer. Anybody want to spend time with God? Anybody got some, some dirty areas on the inside? Every message points man back to Jesus. Amen. Amen. So though we've been dirty, he's able to cleanse us. How many believes that? Yes, Everything he preached about, amen. Y'all give him another hand yes. clap. Yes. Yes. Amen. If you are dirty on the inside, don't worry. He's able to cleanse you. Amen. Amen. He's able to cleanse you. Amen. So if anybody needs prayer tonight, anybody, we get the man of God to lay hands on.